You gonna get him, Vern? All right, dudes. I was gonna show you what I was up to today. Came out pretty nice. Well, I got rained out off the bridge work today, so I had a fresh cup of Java and got with it. First, I was out making a string for my new custom Oneida. Here, I'll show you what it is and kind of tell you how I done it. I made one for my wife's too. Out of the same stuff, different serving though. Okay, here's what mine is. It's out of 452X. These ends, that's double served around the loop with .018 crown serving. And then I serve right down there with the crown. Tied on some big cat whiskers. And it, these things always tend to slide up and down sometimes. So I got some diamond back serving under there to help them to stop from that. And my brace height on this is shooting good at 7 inches. And I'm seeing if this 452X will stretch a little bit. But it's not supposed to. And it's not looking like it is. So I'm probably going to take a twist out of it to get back to my string stops. And this is a .018 works on all this string. This is a 24 strand string. Works real good. And it's the endless loop, obviously, because it's not a Flemish twist. So I've shot that probably, I don't know, 30 times so far. I'm gonna do some more shooting with it. And uh, maybe one of these mornings here over the weekend, I'm gonna go on a coyote hunt. Maybe I can knock one of them dudes down on a GoPro. I'll show you what else. I just got done with this. This is a shelf made out of some cedar and poplar, rough cut scraps. And I'm just I'm collecting so many sporting goods that I gotta have shelves and stuff. So here's what I was doing. And let me back up. Out of some horns, I got the big bore blow gun up there, and I got a little blow gun, and I got some dark cups made. I got a got a bunch of cups there. I gotta fill them puppies up. I got my uh, this. Is, whoops! Watch out, Vern. Made you squeal, buddy. Uh, I can't get in on that, but that is a Diana P34 uh, Springer air gun. I got a spear back there. Some BBs. I got their the little red riders for them. I got a bunch of darts in here. I could put these in the other cup. I just haven't made it that far yet. We're loaded up there. Got some stun darts. Some of the big razor tip darts that ain't so razor tipped. You gotta sharpen them things. It says it says razor tip on the package, but it won't even cut your finger. So they're not razor tip, but I can make them razor. So that's what I did. That's just a just scraps cedar board this is this is cedar poplar poplar I did my whole sh uh, my wife's shop in poplar so I'm just farting around here I'm gonna get ready to shoot some arrows and try to stretch that string out a little bit and uh, that's about it man we'll go out here axe has his face painted up I already put up the little horsies, little saw horsies. I would, I had that propane heater going. I painted them. That it was PVC pipe I used with end caps. I had them hanging up here. You know, heat rises. Duh. And I was baking that paint on. I've been doing some logging. Got the steel. I ran the crap out of these things. Got to have wood to stay toasty. That's what we're. That's what's going on here. I got to uh, get my hunting license and stuff like that, and 
I'm gonna go try to maybe shoot a dog with the with the new Phoenix. So I might have something cool for you guys to see. So that's enough of me blabbing. We'll see you down the road here soon.